In this video, we're going to look at picoapps.xyz to use AI to build an app very, very quickly. So you need to sign up and then we can go to the builder. As a standard prompt, it tells you to build a to-do list app, which works and it's really quite quick. But let's try something new. Let's ask it to build me a habit tracker app where users can add habits and um, mark them as completed on a daily basis. Next to each habit are seven tick boxes which represent the last seven days. The icon is highlighted when the habit has been completed. They can click on the icon to activate it. So let's see what will happen here. Normally with Pico apps, they say you should use more than one prompt, so you iterate on it. You give it some feedback if you're not happy with something, and um, then maybe after a few tries, you're gonna get what you need. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, less than two minutes later, it stopped generating it, and we seem to have a habit tracker, but let's see if it works. So let's say every day I want to do a workout, okay? Um, there's no button, let's hit enter, and it seems to have worked. And we've got tick boxes that we can highlight or click again to unhighlight. Okay, but um, what we want is a, above each checkbox, we want a letter to denote the, the day of the week. For example, M. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so we're going to want that. We also, we need the ability to delete a habit. Okay, so hit update. Okay, that took maybe another two minutes. It took a bit longer than the initial build, actually. Um, but let's see, we've got, um, yep, above we've got the days of the week as we'd like. Okay, and we've also got the opportunity to delete. And it's interesting that the data persisted, even after the rebuild, it still had that workout that we had already created. So let's get a bit more complicated. So we want um, to display today's date at the top of the app. Make sure the first uh, tick box corresponds to today. Um, so that each day there will be a fresh um, checkbox on the left hand side. Um, yeah, let's try that. Okay, it is finished building, and here we go. We've got a habit tracker. It's displaying today's date correctly at the top, and you can see now the most recent um, is Friday. So this is, appears to have worked excellently. What would be interesting is to see um, tomorrow on Saturday if all the data has persisted and it changed to Saturday correctly but I'm very very impressed with um, with what it has managed to do here and and the app runs so fast it's great one last thing that might be good to check is to see how is this data being stored um, does it persist so if we go to the live link here um, I, I've got one habit there I can delete it I can make a new one again and if we open a new window will it persist the data and the answer is yes it will 
Now, if we go to a private window and put it in, you now see that there is no previous data. So that means this data is being stored in the browser cookies, most likely. Um, so yeah, give this a go. Um, PicoApps.xyz. I just found out about this product maybe an hour ago. It really is as simple as you see here. Um, you can have an app um, from a prompt in just a couple of minutes. And you can see it's already live. Okay, so we we can share this. You could go, um, go on this URL here and try this app yourself. And um, in the future, what they're going to do is allow you to use a custom domain. But I think this is a brand new product, so the features are in development. But really, this is um, a sign of what's coming with AI. What, what an exciting development.